Counting time, yeah. And hello, people. This is Telly T coming at you after a month of me making my intro video, saying I'll be back in a week or so. But yeah, um, I don't know, shit just going away. But I'm back now, ready to actually start this channel. <sighs> Not a good way to start. <laughs> But yeah, okay, um, if you haven't seen my channel, my first video I said was, sorry, if you haven't seen my first video, I said my first ever proper video shall be a top 10 of what I'm watching now, uh, what I just finished, what I was watching, what you should watch, kind of just all just mixed into one massive ball. But yeah, let's get a kick, let's get it started. I'm going to start off with number 10. Number 10 is... The Leftovers. This show started in um, 2014, so it's on season three right now. Yeah, and I'll keep looking up. Um, yeah, so it's basically it's called The Leftovers. Yeah, and it's about two percent of the world population disappearing out of nowhere, and all this crazy shit that's happening. It's a HBO TV show, so you know, it's got that kind of Game of Thrones kind of feeling where you can't really predict anything that's going to happen. So it's crazy kind of shit. Written, the way it's written is written quite well. A good storyline, gets a bit dull here and there, but shit does happen. Um, you, if you are currently at the moment like me, all this fuck is just managed to waste all your time not been productive and watching TV shows then check this out you will get hooked enough and for you enough for Game of Thrones to come out I think. No. yeah this and something else from the list but yeah let's kick it off to number nine number nine <laughs> but yeah number nine is um when I go with suits yeah I just finished I've well, finishing this like quite a while ago. If you haven't started watching it, check it out. It's the basis of suits is about two lawyers. One's a fake, like he's a fake lawyer, he doesn't have a degree in it. So which if you don't know the law, you can't practice law without passing the bar. Otherwise it's illegal and every case you've won is like this like dismembered or something like that is like it doesn't count or something like that. I am that and I'm not a law student. I'm a something else student. Not too personal. Don't like it. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, suits, two lawyers, one's fake, one's called Harvey Spencer. Harvey Spencer's like got that kind of feel like a genius, a bit like hard uh Barney Stinson. Yeah. It's just it's interesting, like the kind of shit they do kind of gets you into the world of being a lawyer, what they face, the morals, doing the right thing, the wrong thing, fighting the big guys and all this kind of shit. So um, it's quite good. It's like it's action with words. Action with words. But yeah, let's carry on to number eight. eight. Number eight, we are going with most all oh, right this show is depressing if you don't know it it's 13 reasons why and they should change the name 13 reasons why you shouldn't watch this because it's not because it's bad it's because it's depressing like if I I don't know if I was an emotional person I'd be that would have been in tears throughout the whole thing but that wasn't tears at all no, but no, um, it is fucking depressing. I wouldn't watch it if you like, don't like that kind of shit. But it's got it's got an interesting story. It's uh, based on a book. I believe they were gonna make a film and it was Celine uh, Celine. Fuck, I can't even say her name. Celine Magomez. But yeah. Yeah, but then they cancelled that and then but Selena Gomez wanted 
the world. It was like something personal to her. She wanted to make it into a TV series, so she no, so Netflix let her do it and came out pretty well. Like, yeah, it came out pretty decent. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd watch it again. There's season two coming out next year, 2018, probably sometime around April, I'd say. But well, okay, let's get into the story basically. So it's about this girl, she kills herself, there's 13 reasons why she did it, and with each episode, there's, for every reason, there's 13 episodes, there's, for every reason, there's an episode, sorry, and with every episode, it gets more fucked up, like, you don't know what you're into till you get to the end, and you're like, why did I watch this, kind of, kind of feeling, but yeah, okay, let's carry on with the list. Consultant list. Oh, seven. Something more light-hearted. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Season one wasn't a fan. Season two, yeah, I was getting there. Season three, they nailed it. They nailed it. I personally think they nailed it. It makes it made me laugh throughout the whole season as well. Season three, they did something right, and uh, they, they have this Halloween specials, which are fucking amazing. It's just. The TV show, if you've never heard about it, is um, I don't know if you know the guy from Lonely Island, the main singer. Yeah, he's the actor in it, and it's basically about him and about seven other people. They're police officers, and just goes through everyday life of being a police officer, but with jokes and shit. It's quite hilarious. I'd say check it out if you're looking for a laugh. There's no base storyline, you know, it's a sitcom. Today's story that changes every day, but yeah. Um, carrying it on to really ghost of the Okay, I know the next one as well. But six. Six is the 100. The 100. Don't watch it because you're bored. Watch it because you need to. Because honestly, it's it's good. It's amazing. That uh, I just get straight into it. Um, it's basically about. Hundred teenagers. That's why it's got the one hundred. Get shot and um, get. Well, okay, no, I started this completely wrong. So basically, planet Earth, being what it is, they just go on by their day. Then there's a nuclear fight. Blah 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 blah. Every country just starts to nuke each other. Obviously, no one would live. So people, I'm guessing from America, because it's always America. People get shot up into space and they lived there for 500 years, I believe. And then, after 500 years, the spaceship is, you know, starts to run out of materials, oxygen, they need, they need space growth and all this stuff. But they don't want to send anyone, they don't want to go to Earth because they don't know if it's safe or not. So they decide to send a hundred teenagers who have like who are like in prison kind of solitary uh not solitary sorry like grounded i'm gonna say they've been grounded to get actually grounded they actually get sent to earth to um so it's like they're like guinea pigs basically uh, but they get to send to earth and then um the people in space in the still in space observe them see what they're doing see if it's survivable then after you know shit just, shit just happens i'll just say that i would say more, much more because you're going to watch it um, but yeah shit just happens yeah it's crazy it's a good storyline season one amazing season two good season three nah there is season four now um i'm i am Carrying on episode two, I um, will carry on watching it soon. But quite busy with other stuff at the moment. You know, busy working. Um, I didn't look at the list, the line. But yeah, number five is taboo. Taboo. It's basically well, I will say one thing. It's got Tom Hardy in it. It's a TV series with Tom Hardy in it. And it's it's based in England, 
and oh my, it's fucking, it's, it's one of those mystery TV shows where you're like, I want to know what's happening next, like, I wish it came out two years ago so I could just binge watch it today, it's that kind of TV show, check it out, um, I will tell you, I'll tell you as much as I can, so I'm trying to think about the storyline myself, but I don't actually know what's going on yet. But basically, this guy called oh fuck, oh ra ra ra, what's his name? His name is oh my, okay, I forgot his name. You shall learn his name when you watch it. Um, but he comes. Everyone thinks he's dead, but then he comes back after like whatever how long, and he. He's the rightful owner of this piece of land that the British and the Americans want. This is based in the, um, this is when America and the Britain were fighting, you know, like, you know, all that Independence Day kind of stuff. Rama history sucks. Um, but yeah, all that kind of shit. <laughs> but yeah, so they're fighting. He owns this piece of land which would change face of fight which would make one one side win which would give one side an advantage over the other and he, he just comes in with all this he's like I want this I want that you give me this I'll give you that you want this I'll make it for you then give it to me then you give me what I need to know and all this kind of shit it's just it's badass okay carrying it on to number four I believe we are on I don't know. When when you look at it at first glance, you're like, what the fuck am I watching that? But honestly, you start to watch this a bit like Family Guy, South Park, and Back to the Future Point to One. It's fucking amazing. So I'll just tell you the story basically. It's um No one tell you a story because there is no story because you know, it's just like, it's like Simpsons and all that shit. So we start off with Basically, there's a family, they have a grandpa who is a scientist, like he's the uni- universe's most cleverest person, cleverest human mammal, and he goes just travelling around the galaxy and he brings his nephew with him, and they travel together, and it's, they just do stupid shit, his grandpa just drinks, makes stupid decisions, but all oh, doesn't make stupid decisions, it does make really smart decisions, decisions that you don't think about, like, fuck, I didn't see that guy coming, I don't, I don't know, just watch it, you like it, you like it, I would, I know, but yeah, I'm going on to number three now, which is, sorry, three, where the fuck, what happened to fucking five, I went straight from six to, to four, so I'm going to go back to five, five is power, Power is um, it's a Netflix TV series. I don't know if I'm right by saying this, but it's written by Pizza. No, it was directed by Pizza. And basically, it's about this drug deal. There's two drug dealers. One of them wants out of the game, the other one just wants to be big. He wants to be bigger and badder. Um, they own a nightclub, selling drugs to get into all kind of shenanigans. Like, Shit happens, you have to sort it out, it's kind of badass. And he then melds, yeah, basically, his tits. That's something to put to you. Okay then, so now we're gonna scroll all the way back to, back to number three. Number three is... The thought in the list. Westworld. Number three is West. World. That's three, three, number three, and three for W. I'm, a f- I'm actually an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Westworld. Um, if you haven't checked it out, people are saying that it's the next Game of Thrones when Game of Thrones ends. But yeah, it's 
quite clever. It's based on a film that was made a while ago, directed by Steven Spielberg. Spielberg, yeah. Uh, back in like 1978 or something like that um, and the basis of it is there are uh, it's there's a theme park and the car and the theme park is basically just one massive kind of west uh, west end kind of area with cowboys and all that all this shit and you get to go in and then you get to do whatever you want get to like live like a cowboy but the thing then you can shoot them and blah 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 then is you can't get hurt that's the whole point of it you get to enjoy yourself get to like live wild and all this shit like you're living in a whole different world but yeah shit just gets crazy you know it's a bit like Jurassic Park shit fucks up <laughs> but yeah uh, but now we're going on with two 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 don't care if you call me Goon, Doctor Who, can't go wrong with Doctor Who. There's, there's not much I can really say, it's about um, an alien called a Time Lord who destroys his own planet. If you're ahead, if you're where I am, you can stop Doctor if you want to be really one. I'm just going to say it. Um, he basically destroys his own planet, but then he realizes he can go back he has a time machine by the way I forgot to tell you that he's got a thing called a time I, I don't know why I'm saying this everyone knows Doctor Who I'm not I'm not support and I'm just, yeah so I ended there and uh, go straight to number one number one clearly Game of Thrones I mean yeah Game of Thrones but uh, where where else do you go from there there's nothing else that overcomes that. It's just Game of Thrones. Beautiful storytelling. Got so Dialogues. Fucking Tyrion Lannister. Fucking dragons. Nerius tits. Yeah. That kind of shit. But yeah, I shall end the video. We'll end the video now. Basically, I don't really need to go into too much Game of Thrones because. I imagine everyone's watching it. If you're not watching it, you sir are an idiot. Get there, get on whatever you need to do and start watching it. Get on fucking sky, go whatever, start watching Game of Thrones now. But yeah, I shall end this video now. Um, this channel is not a top 10 kind of channel, it's a review kind of channel. I thought I started off with the top 10. Uh, yeah, next few videos. I think my first video I shall be reviewing. I'll go into more detail about. Mm, okay, what? Well, either I'm gonna go with two options. Either my second video will be about a deep inside the Game of Thrones and what I think is gonna happen, what has happened, and all this kind of shit. And or I shall go into detail about the 100. And from then, from then on, from whatever. I was just reviewing, I'll just be reviewing all the TV series that, all the TV shows that are happening current, currently and what, if I think they're good or not, if you should watch them, if you should try them, what's the basic storyline to get you interested in all this kind of shit, you know, where you need ideas. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. This is Teddy T saying bye.